so we have started uh, enhancement of food production lesson and we we have finished the introductory part of that lesson now we are going to discuss the main steps which are involved in the uh, plant breeding program that is hybridization the first step which is involved in the hybridization of the plants is collection of variability so here we are talking about the variations which are present in that we uh, are going to discuss or concentrate on the diversity of the alleles that means the variations which are present in the plant for all the genes in a given crop okay so wild species and relatives of uh, cultivated species having desired traits uh, should be collected and preserved so the entire collection having all the diverse alleles or the variations for all the genes in a given crop is called as germplasm collection so what is germplasm collection here we talk about the or we uh, specify the diversity in the alleles that is what are the variations that are, uh, that are present in that particular species or particular plant so variations are useful in the selection germ plasm conservation can be done in the following ways it can be also co conserved okay it can be also uh, done by two methods in situ that is called as conservation it can be done with the help of forest so the natural resources which are available naturally uh, by uh, first method they can be conserved second is ex situ of course by the artificial methods just like the botanical gardens by the seed banks these conservations can be uh, uh, done second step is evaluation and selection of the parents so for hybridization of uh, a plant the selection of parents is very much important it is very essential so we have to evaluate we have to study that plant and after uh, studying that uh, plant carefully we have to select the parents so it is an important and essential step which is uh, involved in the hybridization of the plant method so the collected germplasm is evaluated or it is screened to identify plants desirable characters the desirable characters in which we are uh, interested so for that it is very much important that we must evaluate or we must select or screen screen the plants okay identify the parent plants so that uh, selected parents must be healthy what are the characteristics that we want in that healthy vigorous they should be strong and should not des uh, should not should show desirable but complementary features so all these are the requirements which we take into consideration while selection selecting the parent plant so the uh, selected parents are self for three to four generations selfing is done to make them pure and homozygous that's what we have discussed in very much detail in our uh, earlier lesson in the mendelian genetics or mendelian inheritance okay so i'm not going to talk that in in detail now i'm not going to uh, discuss this part so it is made sure that only pure lines are selected so multiplied and they used in the hybridization technique Third is hybridization, the actual hybridization, how it is carried out. So the variety showing maximum desirable features is selected as female recurrent parent and the other one as male or the donor plant, which lacks good characters found in the recurrent parent. So uh, this is how the two plants or uh, they are selected or two parents they are selected. So after that, Pollen grains from the anthers of male parent are collected and then artificially tested over stigmas of emasculated flowers. So we have studied the emasculation. Emasculated flowers are those flowers uh, of which the male gametes are cut artificially. Okay, and uh, uh, the f only they have stigma part. So the pollen grains of another flower, they are collected and they are artificially dusted over the stigmas of that uh, female 
emasculated flowers. So pollination is followed by seed and fruit formation in due course. The seed that's obtained represents a hybrid generation. The hybrid F1 progeny is selected and evaluated for desired combinations of the characters. So now these are the steps which are involved in the hybridization technique. Collection of the germplasm, evaluation and selection of parents, selection of parents with different variety and then the all the flowing chart is given. Fourth step, well, let's talk about after hybridization. The selection and testing of superior recombinant system. So the F1 hybrid plants showing superiority over both the parents and having high hybrid vigor are selected. So in the F1 hybrid plants, those plants which are uh, with the superior characters and which are strong enough, so those plants are selected. Such hybrids are then selfed for future generation to make them homozygous to get the desirable characters okay till there is state of uniformity so that characters will not segregate further testing release commercialization of new cultivars this is the fifth step the newly selected lines are evaluated for the productivity and other features like what is tested whether they are pest resistance or pest resistant or not uh, whether they are having the disease resistant capacity or not, what is their quality. So all these features they are collected. Okay. So initially these plants are grown under controlled conditions of water, fertilizers, etc. And their performance is recorded. The selected lines are then grown for three generations, at least in natural field, in different agroclimatic zones. So this is very important so that the plants should be should get adapted with the different climatic conditions. Finally, the variety is released as new variety for use by the farmers. Many high yielding hybrid varieties of rice, wheat, sugarcane, millets developed through the hybridization technique and they have helped farmer community to attain record agricultural production in India since 1961 and this is called as green revolution question was asked on this recently in this recent board exam that what is green revolution so these points you have to rem remember and while talking about this Indian hybrid crops now you have to remember the wheat and rice varieties the they can ask you the these are the names like Sonalika and Kalyan Sona. These are the two varieties of wheat, okay, which are grown in India. So these names can be asked in the exam. These are the uh, varieties which are semi dwarf varieties. Then another is Jaya, Padma, and Ratna. These are better yielding semi dwarf rice varieties that were developed later so these names you have to remember uh, you have to memorize in sugar cane uh, the sarc uh, sacrum barberi is a native north india and uh, sargum ophinarum belongs to south india so the names you have to remember what are their characteristics they have uh, now out of these two this Officinarum has thicker stem, high sugar content, but it does not grow well in North India. These two varieties were crossed to get desirable qualities of both high sugar content, thicker stem, and the ability to grow in North India. So the two different characters they are mixed together. Okay. Uh, then you are talking about millets, hybrid maize that is Ganga three. The name it is very important. Jowar, CO12, this name you have to remember, Bajra, Nifar, have been successfully developed in India. These varieties are high yielding and resistant to water stress. Now, plant breeding uh, for disease resistance. It, uh, it also, this also achieved by this hybridization technique. 
some of the disease caused plants uh, diseases which are caused these are given in the block like pathogen fungi uh, the plant disease it causes brown rust of wheat red rot of sugarcane late blight of potato uh, bacteria they cause black rot of crucifers viruses uh, tobacco mosaic virus the plant disease which occur in the plants so the basic objective of breeding for disease resistance is to develop inherent quality in the plant to prevent the pathogen from causing the disease this is very much important because here we are talking about the hybridization method so we are improving the plant that is our objective okay so what we get by the green revolution so we are able to prevent the pathogen from causing the disease such varieties of plants are called as disease resistant plants that you have to remember of course the name of the pathogen and the plant disease can also be asked the basic technique used is uh, the same as for a normal hybridization process some disease resistant plants developed are crop that is wheat variety is himgiri resistant to disease leaf and stripe rust hill plant so these are the disease resistant plants which are developed because of the plant hybridization methodologies brassica the variety is pusa swarnim and the dis, uh, resistant to disease white rust cauliflower pusa sh shubra black rot and curl blight black rot chili pusa sadabahar chili mosaic virus it is resistant to these two tobacco mosaic virus and leaf curl now what is mutation breeding mutation is sudden heritable change in the genotype caused naturally so what is mutation mutation when you talk about so it is the sudden hereditary or heritable change which occurs in the genotype and it is natural it can also be induced by application of chemical mutagens so artificially it can also be done natural or physical mutagens are high temperature high concentration of co2 and of course x-rays and uv rays so these are the natural or physical mutagens and chemical mutagens talking about the artificial chemical mutagens they are nitrous acid ems ethyl methyl sulfonate mustard gas and colcc etc okay so these are the chemicals now seedlings or seeds are irradiated by uh, co60 exposed to uv bulbs and x-ray machines etc so mutagens cause gene mutations and chromosomal aberrations so there are changes in the gene and changes in the chromosomes the treated seedlings are then screened for resistance to disease like pests high yield uh, for example jagannath so variety of rice np836 variety of he wheat rust resistant indole 2 variety of cotton which is resistant to bollworm regina 2 variety of cabbage resistant to bacterial rot etc so plant breeding for developing a resistance to insect pest insects being herbivores incur heavy ion heavy loss in the quantity and quality of crops so they are herbivores so what we need resistance in crops can be developed by the following ways first is development of morphological characters like hairy leaves in the cotton and wheat develop vector resistance from jesseids and cereal leaf beetle respectively so that is we are talking about the morphological changes or morphological characters of the plants second solid stem in wheat leads to resistance to stem borers biochemical characters provide resistance to insects and pests for example the high aspartic acid 
low nitrogen and sugar content in maize lead to resistance against the stem borers. And the nectar less cotton having smooth leaves develop resistance against bor uh, worms. Some pest resistant varieties they are crop brassica, flat bean and okra varieties and the insect pest. So this chart you have to remember. So that's all for this session. Let's discuss the tissue culture 